In this video, I'm going to talk about painting one part at a time versus painting the entire car at the same time. Yeah, so I was asked a question by Matt, and it says, Hi Donnie, I might be painting my 19, 1985 Chevy K5 Blazer this summer, 2021. Would it be okay to paint one panel at a time? Example, strip a door panel to bare metal, do the body work, epoxy primer, and urethane primer, and single stage paint. I just want to take the, the paint job slow. And this is going to depend. Um, it depends on what color it is, really. I mean, if it's a solid color, like, you know, red, black, you know, that has no uh, metallics or pearls in it, I think that'd be perfectly fine. However, if it has any metallics, especially high metallics, uh, you know, so many variables with that, you know, the temperature, the humidity, uh, your spraying technique, your air pressure, uh, it's just about impossible to spray at different times exactly the same. So I would say if it's a solid color with no metallics or pearls, you'd be fine to do that. However, if it has metallics or pearls, uh, it may not match perfectly. You know, they if, if the metallic or pearl lays just a little bit different on each panel, they all may be just a little bit different. So uh, that's dependent on, on the color. So I hope that helps answer your question. If not, leave another comment below. Okay, this next one I don't have an answer to, but I wanted to throw it out here. Perhaps uh, some of you have, uh, ha have experienced this or use more of the Napa products than I do. Uh, I have used them, but not not a whole lot. Uh, I've mainly used PPG and Viral Base and, and those type of products. But okay, so Jordan B says been using Napa epoxy primer, wet sanded it with 400 grit, wiped down with uh, nape grease and wax removal, followed by a clean rag, not to let it to absorb into anything. Two hours later, tack rag, spray Napa base coat, and clear coat everything. Looked perfect for six months. Later, there was peeling in the rear fenders. I took a razor and could shave the clear and base off, off the primer like a sheet of plastic. All primer spots. When I hit the original sanded spots, it stuck like a rock. This has happened four times. It's gotten to be, it's got to be the primer. Uh, Martin Sr.'s not been any help. Let me see, let's read more. No, that's it. Okay, so the the problem he's having, anywhere he sanded it and painted it, it's it's adhering fine, having no adhesion problems. Uh, just where he primed with the epoxy primer, and I would have I would have said maybe you waited too long to apply the base coat, you know, uh, or something like that. But that's not the case because he's he has sanded that. So if he applied epoxy primer, sanded it with uh, 400 grit, wiped it down. Uh, let it dry thoroughly. It sounds like all the right steps to me. I have, I really don't know why that would be just peeling on the areas that you primed. Um, if anybody out there kind of has some, some help with that, you know, I'd appreciate if you could uh, chime in and put a comment down below. Uh, maybe someone uses a lot of Martin Seniors or there's a Martin Senior rep out there that could help us with this. Uh, he's done it four times, so I think, you know, I would really like to get him an answer. However, I don't know the answer to this one. Uh, that's it, it sounds like everything was done right to me. And if, if it's peeling everywhere, you know, I could say, well, you rushed the flash times or you waited too long to apply the clear coat or something. But uh, that's not the case because it's sticking real well. You know, it's adhering well to the painted surfaces. So uh, if anybody's had this problem and found a solution, please leave us a comment down below. All right, another question. Andy Ron says, uh, uh, helpful tutorial. Thank you, Mr. Smith. I am inspired to try putty glaze on my project Integra. What is now best, the best brand, Andy? Um, Andy, I think... Uh, the ones that I've had good uh, luck with and for, uh, am familiar with is one is made by Evercoat. I think it's uh, Metal Glaze is what it's called. And 3M has a glaze finishing putty that I've had real good luck with. That's the two that I've used and uh, had real good luck with them. I'm sure there's other, uh, other ones out there that work well too. But that is the two that I would recommend because I have used and I've had good luck with it. So either of those brands will will work well okay one more question 
I have a Honda Civic and the clear coat is worn. I was polishing it and I see there are red color paint on my buffing pad. No body damage on the panels. It's just the clear coat worn. Can I just wash it and wet sand it to, uh, with 800 grit, wash it again, and then clean it with solvent prep and spray 2K clear? Or do I have to spray primer, then spray base, and then a clear coat? Um, I would recommend if I went through all that trouble, because chances are you're probably going to sand through the base coat. I mean, the clear coat's almost gone. If you get if you got red on your buffing pad, uh, it was either a single stage uh, at one at one time, you know, or the the clear coat's completely off. One of the two. But uh, chances are you're going to sand through, sand too much in some areas, some of your edges and corners. Uh, I would recommend you know go ahead and sand it down. You don't have to sand it down to metal or anything like that, but just sand it down. You know, make sure it's sanded well, and then I would spray a couple of coats of base coat on there and then I would go ahead and clear coat it. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of time to, to prep it and uh, get it ready. And you, you wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily have to go with 800. You could probably just go with a, like uh, anywhere between four and 600 since you're applying base coat. But I would, uh, I would put some base coat back on there. Uh, you could put primer sealer as well. You know, that would be up to you. Uh, you can spray straight over the base coat. Uh, if you have different colors, however, like maybe you sand it through some areas and then you end up having to prime some areas, I would recommend primer sealer to give you a better undercoat color, you know, so you don't have any places that, that show through the paint. But uh, I would at least put some base coat and then some clear coat. Uh, hope that helps answer your questions. And if not, go ahead and ask another question in the comments section. I'll try to get to that. Well, that's it for this video. I thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, be sure and do so. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.